eligible if you want to really party with your liquor and hang out with the hottest 18 and over totally new girls and head over to the all-new totally Ronaldo Palomino Club. Wow. This is like my new painting. I've been working two paintings. It's actually two paintings. And I'm not, I'm listening because I have facts and so embarrassing my tooth and it's abscessed and it's starting to go to where I can't hear in my right ear again and um anyhow so I'm lisping really bad because I'm having a really bad abscess but I hear that it could kill you and it, you know I wish something would hurry up not in a bad way or anything just in a way that lets me go somewhere where I can get busy um but okay and I was going to also tell you um when I was a little girl, I used to stare into the sun. Like, I lay in my backyard and I would stare into the sun, sometimes 10 or 15 minutes. I remember I did it all the time. And then, um, the Pleiadians, I just heard, you know, I was listening to them. And I heard that the Pleiadians said that the sun is not bad and that in looking into it opens up your powers and your memories and your vortex in your mind and stuff. You know, and I was going, holy shit, holy schmoly. Because, you know, and I know that it doesn't hurt your eyes because I've, I did it when I was a kid all the time. And I was just wondering if that might have something to do with my, you know, psychic abilities. Because I'm super psychic, but I'm super not pure. And so right now I'm just losing it all. In other words, I'm destroying your guys' grail gifts. I have all these presents for you. And I'm destroying them as I hold them because nobody will take them. But anyway, though... And, but it was, the Pleiadian said that staring into the sun, you know, like um, 30 seconds to one minute on each eye, like once a day, you know, will open up, start opening up compartments in your brain, your powers and your memory and stuff like that. And so, um, but I know that it won't make you, I know because when I was a kid, I did it all the time for a long time. I would stare, it seemed like hours sometimes. But it, it never hurt me. It never made me blind. It, but it might have opened my third eye. That's what the Pleiadian said, and I thought that was really kind of cool. And also, um, I have I figured out because um, King Leo, you know, because he just reminds me of Homer, and like um, you know, he just reminds me of Homer, like a grand grandson or something, or Homer. I don't know. But King Leo, you know, and he's come into the world of life, and he's says, I'm it, I'm going to go do it, I'm going to take care of it, I'm going to fix it, you know, and I've been like, he's real lucid though about, you know, because cause I talk a lot and stuff, and sometimes if I say something, people could get in trouble or it could ruin their plans or what they're working on, because everybody will know what they're working on before they get it finished, and usually people destroy stuff, other people, and so, um, that, in other words, he don't tell me anything, because I, he, until I learn how to control my energy, I, it, it, I can't be trusted not to tell people stuff because I get so excited about that. But I figured it out, King Leo. I know what you're supposed to do. Too. I know you are the one. You got. You're the one that needs to go to Reno and you go get Troy and look him in the eye and talk to him and he will recognize you as a kindred spirit, like a, like one of the closest, like a brother, like, like. Close. I mean, it's just like a complete. In a past life, Troy loved you more than anybody because you were his son. You were his son before, and he loved you so much. And now he, you know what's happened to him, and you see what has happened to Troy, and what happened when he was a little boy in the cages with the dead mommies and stuff. You know that nobody can get through to Troy. He's under mind control and. Master Masonism, and these people, all people forget. They just can't remember, you know. But the one that we can wake up, Troy. If we can wake up, Troy. Oh, there's more. No. If we can wake up, Troy, because what just happened? These sacrifices, um, Seth and Osiris, if you will, the devil and God, if you will. Do you realize that that was Troy's baby? And I told you guys that baby was going to Elizabeth wanted it, and then before it was even born and that it was going to be sacrificed and then I went and asked Pendar through my master mason I channeled him and more, more than once I asked him I go are you sure Elizabeth has Troy's baby and he said yes yes and I asked again and